Hi, so we would like to talk about intimidation. What the intimidation means? Intimidation is an action of someone behave to scare an opponent without touching them. So, an action without touching but to scare an opponent? Is it just like conquer haki? <coughs> So, intimidation have been used by all athletes around the world, especially from the low rank or to the upper rank. And intimidation have been used by many people, including world number one, or even though for an um, amateur athletes. So, we would like to share about three international cases and three local cases that involve intimidation during sport in Malaysia. So I would like to talk about first local issue which is involve Malaysian player with Indonesian player. It happened during Thomas Cup 2018 where the venue is on Bangkok, Thailand. It was said that the rival between Malaysia and Indonesia was met during quarter-final rounds. The controversial part begins when Kevin Sanjaya. This action seems to provoke Malaysia men's double. But then, Goh Vishim have fight back that action with drive action in front of the net. It seems that both of the players behave like childish as it is entertaining to watch. However, both actions are classified as intimidation among players. Second issue, I take it fans. As we can know, uh, the Malaysia have a fanatic fans among their regions. I take it because it's most, most popular. Everybody has known this issue and it's come out on the television too. So, uh, I take it uh, Para vs. Jeriti on the Piala Malaysia 2019. So, as we can see here, uh, we already heard the issue fans fight for it region. Uh, it's like a fanatic fans. Uh, most uh, Perak attack the JDT fans and Perak attack the JDT player on the match after the match uh, has finished and JDT get the winning uh, on the semi final. So, uh, I take it because uh, Perak attack the JDT bus player until it uh, until the bus take uh, damage uh, from the JDT fan and from the Perak fans. So as you can see here, JDT player keep calm to control the pressure among the play among the fanatic fans from the Perak. So, uh, I take it and I appreciate from the JDT fans because they try to overcome the pressure too because they don't attack back to the Pera because they know Pera uh, is home and JDT is away so they don't take a, a risiko uh, uh, to fight back among the fanatic fans from the Perak. I heard the fanatic fans from Perak attack after the winning, uh, after the JDT get the winning at their homes and the result of the match is 1-0 JDT 1 and Perak 0 
So after the end of the match, Fnatic fans from Terra attack using the rock, using the rabbit from the bench, and they did not uh, professional fans like uh, another fans, another club. So this is our third, uh, second issue. Uh, we go through to the third issue. So the issue I take it is Malaysia versus uh, Thailand. As we know, at 4 December 2018, uh, on AF Suzuki Championship. This match, uh, as we saw uh, on the first leads, Malaysia versus Thailand, that we know the Malaysia wasted the opportunity to get the goal on the first leads at the Bukit Jalil, and then. Uh, after uh, the end of result of the of the game, the Malaysia is draw with, with the draw with, with Thailand and match uh, result is zero zero. So uh, after the second ditch at the Thailand homes, uh, as we know, the Buparom and uh, Chachai Buparom. Uh, on the press conference, uh, he say to the Malaysia, uh, he think the Malaysia is weakest, cannot beat them, but the Malaysia control the pressure and keep calm to winning the goal. So, uh, Buparom, uh, eh, Chai Buparom, uh, out the statements uh, is the captain say this, uh, this is the home of the war ele elephants. So uh, to stay today is which them them is mean Malaysia a good night's sleep because tomorrow we will give the a nightmare. So the statements uh, Buparom uh, Chachai uh, come out the statements uh, to give the pressure to the player Malaysia, but player still overcome the pressure from the Thailand. So as we can see here, Malaysia control the pressure uh, to fight the Thailands and to ensure Malaysia get the victory. So the goal, as we can see, Malaysia winning at the uh, semi-final on the AF Suzuki. So as we can see, uh, Chai Chai Buparom is a captain try to the attack to the psychological uh, psychological Malaysia but Malaysia uh, be the best to overcome the pressure so uh, this is the first issue so we go to the next international issue where it involves Sun Yang from China and British swimmer Duncan Scott Sun Yang won the 200 meter freestyle after Dennis Ripsey of Lithuania finished first and got disqualified for apparent false starts. Behind him was Katsuhiro Matsumoto from Japan for win silver and Martin and Duncan Scott of Britain tied for bronze. On the podium, Scott wanted no Part sharing the moment with Sun. Scott keep his hand clasped behind his back and refused to shake Sun's hand, standing off on his own while other medalists joined Sun to pose for a photographer. After leaving the podium, it appeared as though Sun confirmed Scott and said, I win, I win, you lose. Sun, the current Olympic champion in 200 freestyle event, earned his third straight medal in the event at World and second goal in a row. Even though he is the current champion, but with Scott's ability, he felt trapped and therefore he start to intimidate Duncan Scott after the podium ceremony. Next, we go to the international issue where it involves Serena Williams and Chairman Empire. During US 
final open 2018 the match was involved Serena Williams and Nozomi Osaka from Japan if the Serena Williams won that game then she will become undefeated winner for that year but because of what happened between Serena Williams and the umpire then Nozomi Osaka have won that title so what happened actually between Serena Williams and the umpire which is Carola Moss Carola Moss is a official chairman umpire Carola Moss have won Serena Williams because receiving coaching during the match then William contested the warning and continued playing but before the match was over she had busted her racket called the umpire a thief and deduct received two scoring penalty the match was stopped about 15 minutes where it involved the argument between athlete and umpire so from the action we call it as intimidation where Serena Williams have threat the umpire so the intimidation of that match is the intimidation between athlete and umpire Okay, for the third issue, I take it uh, from international. So, uh, we already heard uh, because it's most popular in our worldwide in football. So, during match UEFA final ditch 2018, uh, this match is a uh, little bit controversy because it's among the professional players Sergio Ramos and Mohamed Salah because Sergio Ramos is uh, discovered uh, discovered the Mo Salah uh, take a advantage and te, uh, attack the Mo Salah until the Mo Salah get the uh, injury but this match is really controversy because after Sergio Ramos uh, attack the Mosala anti injury. The referee did just give the yellow cards. It is not fair because the player Mohamed Salah get the heavily injury until affect the the whole team, uh, national team and club team during the final league and during the World, World Cup championship. Uh, so. Sergio Ramos after the game, Sergio Ramos uh, apologize to the Mohamed Salah because uh, he hurting bad, really bad to the Mohamed Salah. So this match, I take it because it affect uh, the whole team, uh, the both team, national team and club teams because after the Mohamed Salah uh, get out from the field. Liverpool cannot come the pressure, Liverpool cannot beat the Real Madrid in the final league and Liverpool lose 3-1 against the Real Madrid. So this I take it because uh, the Mohamed Salah is the key player and missing goal during that match. So they cannot replace the Mohamed Salah to get any goal and they face two lot of injury on their player like Adam Lallana before the match Adam Lallana get injury too so no one can replace the Mohamed Salah to get the goal so this team is a professional but their thinking is not like a professional to get more experience to get more overcome to, uh, to control pressure so Liverpool must uh, yeah, control pressure to winning another match. So this is 
our third issue on the international so thank you so for the conclusion intimidation is the worst thing that athletes do before after or during the game so if you want to feel the winning then make sure you are doing the fair play or respect other in terms of sportsmanship then I recommend you guys to not to do the intimidation towards any people so I hope you guys learn from the case study and not repeat the same mistake again and thanks for watching this is all from us from ASIN and I hope we can share the good information to us worldwide so thank you